Rec, 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 rec League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Radio Public, Good Pods, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Stitcher. At Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, at Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 104, available now. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? I just watched A Man Called Auto. It's a new drama starring Tom Hanks, uh, Mariana Trevino, Manuel Garcia Rulfo. And um, it is directed by Mark Forster, who has directed uh, Stranger Than Fiction, Christopher Robin. You got you got Otto played by Tom Hanks, and he has lived a life, a recently very painful life. So like he has plans. And his plans keep getting interrupted. He gets new neighbors across the street who bring a lot of that interruption, yet bring him something that he doesn't realize that he's looking forward to. I'm always down for new Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is arguably the GOAT. He's one of if he's not the. Um, so... Like, I'm always down for new Tom Hanks. Like, everybody, everybody is bashing that uh, Robert Zemeckis directed Disney Plus Pinocchio. And I'm still going to watch it because it's Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks at, like, what, let's say, like, 73 is me at 36. I, I like structure. I like rules. I like order. I I get I get so aggravated when people try to cut cut those corners i'm constantly irritable annoyed um but there are like there are those few that can crack my shell and that's tom hanks um the mariana trevino character is the new neighbor across the street um family she's got kids but she brought like this this is a very sad movie this is a very sad movie. But every scene she's in just like gets cranked up on energy and and positivity. She just she she's a ball of sunshine in a very very dark cloud movie. Um like just the character like we learn a lot about Tom Hanks and his life through flashbacks and it's like the way things played out was like very like like it was fate and but like life life ends up like being sad at times like i hope we all know that there was just like he he kept getting put in these positions that he didn't want to be in but once he was in them like he was like man this isn't this isn't that bad this isn't as bad as i thought it was going to be so like it was cool watching it was like his character arc the tom hanks character arc was very interesting i would like man this is this movie is just over two hours i didn't cry but the eyes were ready to overflow for maybe an hour and a half of this movie uh, i laughed a lot like the the old people that were in the theater with me like they felt like that they were in on the joke um yeah yeah like tom hanks is great i i don't know if he'll be in any awards talk or nomination like mariana trevino should be like i can't express enough like how great she was in this movie uh like like she brought the humor i'm saying she brought the energy she was the yin to tom hanks's yang um and like I just I hope this is one that like and like I blame Mark Forrester like this is his bread and butter stranger than fiction like tiptoes around this genre this was the movie that like Will Ferrell was more than just a comedian Christopher Robin I feel like is the most underrated Disney live action 
release since they really started doing it. Like, I know they did, like, Alice in Wonderland in, like, 2010. But it was, like, Cinderella that I think, or Maleficent, that really, like, got the ball rolling on, like, every animated Disney movie needs a live action. And Christopher Robin is that Winnie the Pooh. And it's, like, I love Christopher Robin. So, like, Mark Forrester has a very underrated filmography. And despite what popular opinion says, like, even his Bond, like, James Bond isn't his lane. But Quantum of Solace is not a bad Bond movie. But A Man Called Otto, which is also a remake of, I want to say, a Swedish movie. It's, it's just, it's, it's very good. So with all that being said, I will say that in my opinion, A Man Called Otto is dope. Have you seen A Man Called Otto? What you think about it? Positive, negative, somewhere in between, let me know. Uh, I just put up a review for Plane with Gerard Butler last weekend, Megan, um, most anticipated Blu-ray collection update. Those are on my channel next weekend. I hope to watch and review Missing, Storm Reed, Nia Long, You People is coming out on Netflix the following weekend. I'm not positive I'll review that on here. So Knock at the Cabin from M. Night Shyamalan might be my next review after Missing. Uh, Reckley Podcast, we did a first quarter preview January, February, March. It's always fun. Check it out. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits. Peace.